Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 everyone. This is Agaya, Hills in Libra, and I'm back. Hi, everyone. Um, I've been gone for a while. Um, being a divine feminine, sometimes you have to, well, a lot of times you have to step back and replenish yourself, rejuvenate your energy. Um, you're always um, on a journey, and you're gaining more and more knowledge. So sometimes you have to go in hermit mode to get to the next level, to learn things, to accomplish things, to protect yourself, um, a lot of things, uh, you know, but I'm back, and I'm glad to be back, um, I've missed you guys, and I hope you've missed me, of course, my channel is a women empowerment channel, um, this is a channel that is healing for the woman, because we also, we go a lot outside of ourselves for acceptance, when all we have to do is go within and accept ourselves. Uh, this is a channel for self-love. Um, and um, just teaching women to self-love themselves because we are the healers. Okay, and we spend so much time healing everybody else that we don't take time for ourselves. So sometimes uh, you need to step back all the time and give yourself that love that you that you feel you're not receiving from anyone else and that propels you to get back on your throne because this world is in a in a, in a terrible uh, state now and is out of balance that's because um, the women are out of balance and once the woman is in balance mind body and spirit a lot of things are going to change a lot of things going to change because we began this you know what I'm saying um, we to jump off <laughs> you know what I'm saying not in a negative way but we started this you know what I'm saying and uh, everything begins and ends with the woman okay um, the chaos begins with the woman and the chaos will end with the woman we are the healers and we are needed to heal this world and, and the state that it is in now okay with power of a woman is tremendous. We're the symbol of supremacy. Okay. Um, I am here to do the zodiac sign Aries, the first sign of the zodiac. The the child, I would say, the one that's on me, me, me. I am, I am, I am. And of course, uh, I've meditated and I've cleansed the energy. So let's get into the reading. Okay. Um, I pulled goddess nut here. This is the goddess, the sky goddess of her resurrection. She's here. When Nut comes in, she's holding your hand and she's giving you the energy to uh, reinvent yourself, to rebirth yourself. Uh, you've gone through some challenges, Aries. Um, you could have been under attack. Um, it could have been in a relationship. It could have been dealing with your family or anything. But you've been through some challenges. Uh, this season and now you're coming out of it you've overcome those challenges and it is here to guide you and give you the energy of rebirth and reinvention okay 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 and again Nut is the goddess of reinvention and rebirth okay all right then I went over to the angels here and I pulled the Quiet Nourishes Me card. 27, breaking down to a 9, which is universal love. Quiet Nourishes Me. Like I said, when you're a divine feminine, some a lot of times you have to go in hermit mode, you know, to gain clarity and replenish yourself, to gain knowledge. You know, it said, Quiet, quiet Nourishes Me. I connect... It, it connects me to the power of now. Yeah, that's what I've said. You know, you have to do that a lot of times. You know, replenish yourself because we are the healers, you know. So, that's like going into hermit mode. And when you go into hermit mode, um, you get knowledge and everything from the universe. And that's called universal love. Um, you get clarity about a lot of things and you replenish yourself. It's just you, you regrouped, Okay. And then I went to the spirit guys and I pulled tribe of the kindred. When I pulled this particular card, 
this particular card is my copycat card okay so there's somebody in your energy that has been mimicking you that has been copying you when people copy you and they mimic you they look up to you they put you on a pedestal they don't want to say it but they, they they put you on a pedestal because they're copying you they want to mimic you you know you see it says at the top I don't know if you can see it it says I carry your heart I carried it I carry it in mind so this is a particular person that wants to be just like you um, Aries your heart is pure you make decisions in your life based on love um, logic too but the foundation for you is love and this person here you see the black heart in the middle this particular person doesn't this person has no love in them you know so they can't make decisions based on love or anything so they want to mimic you because they look up to you they look up to you because they don't have what you have inside of you and they want to be you you know and then you have the 10 which is the end of a cycle so this person has been mimicking you trying to be you trying to steal your moves I want to say you know um, and it's the end of this it's the end of that crap okay it's the end of that um, end of this copycat it didn't work go get your life go heal and find out who you are um, people like this are invasive and that, and they try to come into your nest and lay their own eggs and then say that your nest is theirs you know they intrude on your life and try to be you but it's the end of that so that's what you've been going through Aries you've been going through somebody wrapped up in your energy trying to be you and mimic you and copy you and steal your essence steal your energy you know everything you do they watching you because they look up to you they are kissing your ass basically you know what I'm saying and if you want number one they won't be trying to take your spot okay but uh, it's the end of that it's the end of that crap so whoever this is in your energy they need to skip to dip their ass on down the street somewhere because it's over you know what I'm saying the divine has stepped in and this cycle is over okay Aries is uh, a sign that has a can-do attitude um, it's all about me, 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 me. So I'm thinking this season for you, Aries, you're rebirthing yourself. You're going through a resurrection after some hard times. Um, and you, 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 you went in hermit mode and you replenished yourself and now you're back in, in full effect. You know, you're back in full effect, ready to pick up where you left out from. You know, and this energy that was wrapped up in you trying to be you, their ass is out. It's a done one bun. You know what I'm saying? So don't worry about that. And you're rebirthing yourself. Um, I go over to the ancestors and I pull book clients. So you may have a platform or some Aries fire sign. Um, um, it says book clients. Um, focus on booking your calendar with enough clients to reach your monthly income goal. So you maybe have a platform. You may be on Instagram, TikTok youtube vimeo you maybe have a patreon or something but you have a platform or something uh, this may be with your job or something you know um is with your work um and you are uh, the universe is telling you to book clients you know book those clients so you may be going into business for yourself or entrepreneurial energy coming in here and the Aries is about me 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 so I'm thinking this season it's going to be all about you this season nobody else you're going to be focusing on your business um, and your family and love what what you love and what loves you that's what's happening this season for you Aries that sounds good that energy that's exciting um, and also, I pull the Mother of Sticks from the Hoodoo deck, the Ancestors. The Mother of Sticks um, is like the Queen of Wands in a regular tarot deck. You know, fiery, confident, courageous, focused, and powerful. Not to mention beautiful. 
very beautiful very attractive and um the mother of sticks tends to revel in her beauty i don't know if you guys can see this i hope you can see this but if you could see part of her breast is out and it's not to be a hooker or nothing like that because she's definitely not definitely not she's, she's way balanced you know it's just that she knows she's sexy you know, femininity, femininity is part of her, and she revels in it. There's a lot of people that is attractive, attracted to the mother of sticks. A lot of suitors. A lot of suitors. So you're going to be having a lot of suitors this season, Aries. Um, you could be working on your looks, um, your femininity, and you know you're beautiful, and you revel in it. You know what I'm saying? You exude it, you know? And um, you're in high energy, Mother of uh, Sticks is, is, is a high energy card. So, yeah, um, you're in high energy this season, um, Aries. And I think that you're going to go into business. I'm feeling some entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial business uh, energy here. I go over to the universe and the universe gives me inspirational messages. And it says, if you can dream it, you can do it. So it's something that you've been dreaming about doing, Aries. I think it's a business you've been thinking about taking off or something. And you did some inner soul searching. You replenished yourself uh, after being war trodden because you've been through a lot. You've been through some challenges. And you're working on your looks. You're working on your health. And you're ready to get back out here. The universe has closed the cycle uh, on this energy that has been trying to copy you and steal your essence. And you're like... Bitch, get off me. You know what I'm saying? You like any given Sunday. You can't hold me. Get off me. You can't hold me. Get off me. You know, y'all don't know nothing about the LL. You know what I'm saying? But your boy Walt Disney say if you can dream it, you can do it. And you dreamed it and you ready to take action and do it. Fire sign. They all about taking action. Um, it's going to be all about me this season. You know? And I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that for you, Aries. I'm feeling that. Also, I get the energy of Bast here. Someone is trying to uh, do some type of sex magic on you. Somebody is very, uh, uh, you have it's some intense energy of somebody is very attracted to you. And they want to get you in the bed the worst kind of way. The things they want to do to you, honey. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you're not focused on that. You're focused on your bread and your money this season um, and getting your business started. Financial security for your family and for you. That's what you're focused on. That's what you're putting your high energy toward. You're not thinking about um, um, a love interest. Um, not saying that you won't, wouldn't if the right one comes along, but you're not focused. Uh, on that particularly you know um and whoever this is in your energy um it could be this 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 kindred person trying to put sex sexual energy on you on you because women they want other women especially a divine feminine you know especially if they don't have the energy inside them they don't have the heart that she has and you know sex um that's the best way to trade energy Okay, and um, I don't understand, um, you know, it's not for me to understand because I'm not attracted to another woman, but uh, whatever way they do it, you know, which I don't know how they do it, you know, I really have no idea, but they exchange energy and this person is trying to copy from you and steal your energy. That's the way that they can steal your energy or it may be uh, another person may not have to be this person but you have somebody in your energy that is a uh, very sexual and they could be doing sex magic on you so you can want them sexually okay just wanted to tell you that all right um but whatever uh has happened you uh went inside yourself and learn um some truth about this particular relationship and um the truth that you've learned um empowered you empowered you to get back out here and reinvent yourself uh rebirth yourself so you it seems like areas you tend to make lemonade out of lemons okay all right
let's get to this energy uh, areas and let's see what's going on out here what divine message the universe has for you okay I really missed you guys um, the time I've taken away has been marvelous um, I really needed it um, to take care of things in my personal life I really needed this time I valued this time um, and that's what you've done Aries <laughs> who knows this could be a reading for me <laughs> It could be a reading for your Zen Libra, you know. Um, but I'm not an Aries. So. Okay. Um, Aries can be in your chart. Um, it could be your, your sun sign. is aspected in your chart very highly okay moon sign sun moon venus sign it could be aspected in your jupiter and a lot of people look over their 12th house it could be aspected in your 12th house okay all right what divine message does the universe has for my aries in this particular season. All right. Let's get it, Aries. Okay. I really missed you guys but I had to step away and do some healing and I know I have quite a few divine women that look at me watch my channel and they totally understand okay you have to take care of yourself because if you're not working how you're gonna be here for somebody else you gotta Keep your mojo going. You got to keep yourself balanced, okay? Bottom of the core, we have the Ten of Wands. Something is a burden to somebody. Something is a heavy load to somebody, okay? All right, let me take a look at here and get the download from the universe and see what they're saying to you, Aries, okay? Yeah, Aries. This is about a relationship. I don't know if it's a same-sex relationship. I don't know, but it has to do with the relationship. Okay? The cycle has ended um, in regards to this uh, situation. But the person in question that's in your energy, Aries, they know the cycle has ended, but they don't want it to end. Okay? They know that it's ended, but they don't want it to end. Okay? Um, it's been a de death to this relationship. It has ended. That's why you have Nut here, the goddess of resurrection. Um, this person wants to talk to you, communicate with you. Um, they're very egotistical. You know, and um, they're ready to take a risk and come towards you for a relationship, but the universe has blocked them. It's a no-go. The cycle has ended. This person is sneaky, and they are pissed. They are upset because now that they're ready to come forward um, and offer you uh, some type of commitment, um, it's not happening. The cycle is closed. It's over. But they trying to turn back the hands of time or wanting to turn back the hands of time. 
Um, but it's not going to happen. It's a done one bun. It's over. You know, and they are pissed. They are mad. They ready to fight. Um, they feel they got competition for you, uh, Aries. Uh, my, my fire sign, my Aries. Um, they're not going to have no victory with you, sweetheart. You're not giving them any uh, attention. Um, because you know what's up with them. You know, this person has secrets um, that they're not telling you. Um, this person is very sneaky, very deceptive. Um, uh, but this person um, is like kind of desperate to be with you, Alice. Um, I'm thinking, I mean, um, and they're all in their feelings. They're all in their feelings. Um, but they have been halted. They have been halted. Uh, it could be a uh, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that's been stopped coming towards you. Um, this person is immature. Um, this person is very deceptive, manipulative, you know, and very egotistical. But on the other hand, they love you. <laughs> it seems like you're dealing with a narcissist here, Aries. You're dealing with a narcissist. They want a reunion with you. You know, they want to reconcile with you. Um, they want to come and they want to have sex with you. Um, but something's not right with this particular uh, person. Uh, I'm thinking um, this person may have a STD. This person um, may be wounded uh, in the genital area. Um, and that's why the universe stopped them from coming towards you, uh, amongst other things, them being sneaky, uh, lying, and manipulative. They have an STD. They have an STD and they have the nerve to want to uh, reconcile with you. I mean, like, ew, poison dick ass, go away, you know what I'm saying? Um, and they are upset, you know, they're in regret and they are in pain. They're hurt. Um, because they can't be with you, they're hurt. They're really hurt and in their feelings. Okay? Um, this person feels abandoned by you, Aries. Uh, left out in the cold. And they look at you as wish fulfillment. You know, and they're actually praying to, to the universe, to God, to please let them be with this Aries. But it's a no-go. It's a no-go. I mean, who wouldn't want to be with the mother of sticks very fiery very attractive very feminine um can do attitude uh this person is starting their own business you know like i said i don't know if it's, this could be a same-sex relationship this could be uh uh two women or it could be a, a man to a woman who knows or it could be a man and a woman that's lusting off of this uh mother of six because like i said um uh, the um, mother of six is very attractive, very attractive, very attractive. Has a lot of suitors, has a lot going on for that stuff, and a lot of people want to be with this particular person, you know. But it's, 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 it's over. It's over. This chapter is over. Clarify the seven of cups in reverse for me, spirit. Clarify the seven of cups in reverse. Clarify the seven of cups in reverse for me, spirit. Yeah, they trying to hold on to you. They trying to hold on to you. Maybe they want to hold on to you for financial means. Who knows? But this person has definitely is wounded. They're wounded. That penis is wounded. <laughs> they have an STD and they want to come your way. But Spirit is like, you're not coming toward my mother's sticks <laughs> with your stick. You know what I'm saying? You need to go on. You know what I'm saying, Mother Sticks? She's sitting over here looking on fleek. And here you come. Poisonous. No, not my child. That's what the universe is saying. Can you clarify the high priestess for me? Clarify the high priestess for me. For my Aries. Yeah, this person wants to reconcile with you. But the tower has already happened. It's not going to happen. And this person knows. And this person is hurt. But they're holding on to your energy. They're trying to hold on to you. The universe is not letting them. They feel so abandoned. So left out in the cold. So neglected. You know, but you're not giving them no attention. And, you, and they're not going to have a victory with you at all. Okay. Yeah, you know why? 
because you know that this is the devil. This person is the devil. Of course, spirit knows that this person is the devil. And that's why they're not letting this person near you. They block this person out your energy, block this person out of your life. You know, I don't know if it's the same sex. It could be. Because this person was trying to copycat you, you know, or it could be a male that's in his feminine energy. You know, who knows? But is this somebody out there that's wrapped up in your energy that was and the cycle is over? This person wants to come towards you. They're doing sex magic on you to make you want them. And you don't. <laughs> Everything they're sending towards you is reversed right back to them because you are a divine being. Because you are a high priestess. That's how you know that this person is the devil. Okay, you know this person is the devil. This person is obsessed with you. You know, but it's not going to happen. Regardless if they love you or not, it's not going to happen. Spirit says no, so it's a no. It's a no. You know, they look at you as emotional fulfillment. Oh, oh, you're everything to this person. You know, but it's over. You know, this person is sneaky. This person is selfish. And this person is probably sneaking around at nighttime by your home. So watch yourself, Aries. Okay? Definitely watch yourself. Because this person is the devil. And this person is obsessed with you. This person is obsessed with you. But you're a high priestess. I know you know how to protect yourself. And um, reach out to your ancestors. Reach out to your soul family. They got your back too. You know, the universe has your back. Because you're a divine being. This person is not happening. You know. Sorry. Sorry. It's over. It's over now. It's over. It's over now. It's over. Game shut down. Sorry. Yeah, it's over. Man. It's over. And they are all in their feelings. Oh. They are just sick to their stomach. They can't even hold a hip. They just, just, you know. But, uh, <laughs> and then they still trying to come towards you. You got an STD. You need to go and heal yourself. You need to give yourself some self-love before you come trying to give somebody else some love. Come on now. Night of Wands. <laughs> you know, um, also a fire sign. This person is very passionate about you. This person is very, has very, um, <laughs> they want to sex you up bad, you know. But come on, you, you, you're nasty. You know, if it's a female, she could be something happening down there with her, you know what I'm saying? She need to go get it scooped up, checked out, you know. And if it's a man, dude, you need to go get the mallet to the thing and, you know, man, you need to go heal. I mean, just nasty, just nasty. But like I say, the Aries probably is not even thinking about a love interest right now, you know. Um, they're doing their own thing. It's all about them now, you know. They've healed and they're reinventing themselves and they're coming out with this entrepreneurial um energy and they're ready to get at it they're not trying to get at somebody that's infested get your infested ass away from me Ew, you know what i'm saying go on on you know i mean my goodness people just won't stop i mean what you trying to infect the mother of sticks get you oh man mm, 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 mm. i'm burning my yellow candle and i uh, got on my yellow um butterfly lights because I'm feeling the energy of creativity, confidence, the solar plexus, the solar plexus is open, there's a lot of creative energy running around here, that's why I'm feeling this entrepreneurial spirit from this mother of sticks, you know, they're going to get their own business, they're trying to pop it out, and Walt told them, if you dream it, you can do it, you know, um, <laughs> you ain't mess with this person I mean come on I mean 
Check it out. You got harmony. This Aries has harmony, okay? Probably already in a partnership. But I know one thing they got harmony with. They got harmony with the universe. They're in collaboration with the universe. That's why the universe is like, hey, water sign, bag, 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 bag. What? Give me 50 feet. I mean, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. They in harmony with the universe. And anything that's negative is not going to go in this mother of sticks life, in this Aries life. So go on, get you some business, go and heal. Goodness gracious, you know. And um, the universe is probably sending this person a harmonious partnership. They're probably sending this person a harmonious partnership. I'm more, I bet my life on it. You know what I'm saying? You have a love interest that's, that's coming in that's totally made for you, Aries. You know, um, because you on your, you on your shit. You know, and look, accelerated motion. You got, you know, the number eight. You're going to, you finna get in, you finna have abundance. Whatever energy you put out there is coming back. That's karma. You got good karma coming back at you. You're going to have money, um, a harmonious partnership, balance with the universe. You're going to have it going on. You finna kick off your business. Aries, you got it going on. This is your season. You ain't got time for no drippy, drippy, drippy ass. I mean, ugh, you know what I'm saying? You know, your third eye chakra is completely open. You know what the deal is with this water sign. Man, me, dude, or woman, y'all need to go get a shot. <laughs> For real, get a shot in that ass to kill you up. Hopefully you can get cured. You know, hope it's something that you can cure. You know what I'm saying? You just need patience, Aries. You know, and your third high chakra is open. The universe is just telling you, just be patient. You know, because what we got for you, honey, is coming. It's coming fast. It's right around the corner. Just be patient. That Whatever seeds you planted, if you can see that, whatever seeds you planted is growing, sweetheart. It's growing. Okay? You got one and four, 14, break it down to a five. Things in your life is going to change so quickly in a positive direction. Reinvention, rebirth, that's what I'm talking about, okay? Because you know the truth. You know the truth about this particular person. Could be male or female. You know the truth about this particular person, Okay? And you went inside and you, you, you know, you nourished yourself, you know, you know, it connects you with the power of now and you gain some clarity and truth about this relationship. You have inner knowing because what? Because you're a high priestess. So you know what the deal is, you know. This person needs to bag, 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 but give me 50 feet. You know, come on, come on, you know. No, no. You're a star. You're a star. You're a star. You're connected to the universe. Come on with it, okay? Come on with it. Come on with it. You see the universe up there smiling at you? You see the universe up there smiling at you, Aries? You're in collaboration with the universe. You're in harmony with the universe. You balance mind, body, and spirit. You're so healed. And you you you, you dream what you want to dream and it's it's finna happen for you. It's happening if it ain't already happening. But it's happening for you. You know. You balanced with the universe. Good karma, good energy you put out there, and it's coming back to you. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to talk to you. This water sign wants to talk to you. They want to talk to you. I don't know if they're going to try to manipulate you, try to get you to be back with them or something, but you ain't trying to go there. I mean, go on about your business. You know what I'm saying? Leave me be. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm going on with my life, and um, you need to go and heal somewhere. You need to go and heal somewhere. Don't be in the business of trying to keep somebody that don't want to be kept. Okay? The cycle is over. 
Aries just said this cycle is over, but it don't matter what Aries said. The universe said that it was over. You were blocked. <laughs> Spirit has blocked you from this particular person because you are unclean, King of Wands. I mean, come ill. And this was in reverse. And you know, a King of Wands in reverse, they just community peen. You know, they're just a pass around. You know what I'm saying? And look at you. You you need a haircut. You ain't taking care of yourself the way you're used to. You got ketchup and mustard on on your shirt. You ain't changing your clothes. You know, you know, left your ego behind. You ain't um, all confident and stuff like you used to be. I mean, you just, and, and you just got your wine in your hand and you on fire. Fire. <laughs> fire. And that's what Drew Down said on that. Uh, what movie is that? Um. Mm -mm -mm. When they all uh, got the community back, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember it. It'll come to me. But fire, you know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself. Look at you. Look at the tip. You're wounded. Probably got wounded from some female or something. Oh my God, goodness, you know what I'm saying? Go on, on, on. Um, water sign. Get you some baskets. And want to reconcile for somebody. And you sitting up here got sassafras in your pants. Go on, on, man. Please go on, on. And this person is hurt. This person is hurt. This person is in their feelings. This person is obsessed with you, Aries. This person is the devil. This person is the devil. This person connected with someone that set their ass on fire. Literally. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, that's not funny. But, you know, I pray that you get you some healing, water signs, but uh, whatever you're trying to do, this Aries ain't taking partaking in it. So you could just try to put sex magic on this person or do whatever you want to do. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Especially if this is a high priest, if this is a divine person, you need to stop doing what you're doing because it's just reverting back to you. You know, yeah. Strength card. That's mother of sticks all the way strength you know standing in their power they're not dealing with you Aries is not dealing with you water sign you need to go and heal you know yeah impermanence you know you've been through the storm you've been through the storm you've been through a lot and now it's time for you to see the sunlight see that's what I'm saying this is what's happening birth and resurrection you know what I'm saying you learned your lessons you know it was stressing in your lesson and you blessed you know, you came through it. You overcame those obstacles. And now the universe is rewarding you for that. You know? So impermanence. This is what you're going through. You stood in your power. You have strength. And you're going to see the sun. You weathered the storm. You know? <sighs> proud of you, Aries. I am so proud of you. You know? You gain clarity, you went within, you gain clarity about this relationship, about this particular person. And you know all you need to know because you're the high priestess. You know all you need to know and you done been through that with that person and it's over. The cycle is over. It is your time to shine. And this person is just sick to their stomach. They sick in their stomach, they sick in their head, and they sick in their pants. They want you to forgive them though. They want you to forgive them. You know, they uh, want to talk to you and they're getting the strength to come up and ask you for your forgiveness. So, you know, when this person does contact you, uh, Aries, you know, just be in your higher self. I mean, you're not going to let nobody throw you off your throne anyway to resort to uh, arguing or anything with this particular person. I mean, you're a divine individual, so you look at things from a higher perspective. You know, maybe this person acted the way that they act because they didn't have some trauma in their lives. So obviously, they're not healed, you know, and hurt people hurt people, you know. So you, you could look at it like that, you know what I'm saying? You're going to forgive them. You forgiving them not for only because they want you to, but you're doing it for you. To be divine, you have to know how to forgive. That is the greatest act. That is the hardest thing to do is to forgive someone that's harmed you, did you wrong, or anything. But being divine is learning to forgive. You know? Check it out. 
You know what I'm saying? It's, you got good things to come. You probably finna get a new car. I mean, stuff finna pop off for you, Aries. This is your season, and it's finna pop off for you. You got good things to come because you weather the storm. You put in that work. You know what I'm saying? And water sign, you need to put in that work. You know what I'm saying? It just don't happen overnight. You just can't come and be with a divine individual. Uh, you're very toxic. You're very low vibe. You know what I'm saying? You're not even on a level. You know what I'm saying? Raise your vibrations. You know what I'm saying? Change your life. Change your mind. You change your life. Okay? But this person got good things to come. She ain't tripping off of us. She trying to see what kind of, you know, uh, she trying to see what kind of car she finna get. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? She ain't trying to, what kind of rims she want on that thing. You know what I'm saying? She ain't trying to sit around and worry about a drippy dick. You need to go and heal yourself, okay? Well, she looked like something good to come and you dripping on her car seats. Uh, we rocking on leather, you know what I'm saying? White leather, peanut butter leather. I mean, ain't nobody got time for your... your Go, um, go heal, water sign. Go heal. Yeah, go heal. You know what I'm saying? This person is coming into abundance. Come on, baby. You know what I'm saying? I see they're trying to hold on to you. And I said they was probably trying to hold on to you for, for financial means. So they probably know something that you don't know. Okay? But they can't know something that you don't know because you high priestess, you know. You know what I'm saying? And you put in that work. You put in that work. You know what I'm saying? And all you have to do is just be patient because the seeds you planted. The universe. Just say, be a little patient. It's coming. It's coming. You planted some good seeds, honey. And you finna see. You finna reap your harvest, okay? You finna reap your harvest. This is so good. This is so good for Aries. This is so good, Aries. This is a really good reading to kick off the zodiac signs. And I'm feeling this. What kind you want? What kind of car you want, girl? You know what I'm saying? What kind of car you want, girl? Yeah. Got spontaneity on the, at the bottom of the deck. This person is going to try to pop up on you, you know, or message you out the blue or whatever. You know, um, to ask you for your forgiveness. Go ahead and forgive this person. You know, uh, forgive this person and release this person. You know, um, I'm not going to sit up here and tell you, uh, it's up to you what you want to do. This is a channel where we empower women. We need to get together with our sisters and talk. You know what I'm saying? A lot of men don't like for the, the sisters to get together. Like, why are you always listening to your friends? You need to listen to your friends to see a different perspective the way to look at things you know what i'm saying because we <laughs> sisters they down for each other they have each other back true and blue you know what i'm saying so i'm not finna sit up here and tell you uh it's up to you no don't take them back this person is a devil this person is obsessed this person has a drippy dick what you gonna do with that you know what i'm saying this is a total block for you and you don't want that so i'm here to tell you no Back, 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 back. Give me 50 feet. You know what I'm saying? Going on. You know what I'm saying? It's popping up on me. You know. Don't nobody want to be bothered with you, dude. Or it could be a, a female. Who knows? Because you got somebody out here trying to copy you and get into your energy, you know. Or this could be a, a male that has a, a lot of feminine energy. You know. But whatever it is. It's not happening. You know, weather the storm, and now it's time for you to see the sun, baby. And this is your season. Go on, Aries. Go on, Aries. You know, I was channeling Beyonce today uh, already. King already. You're the king already. You know what I'm saying? See, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. Let's get it, Aries. Let's get it. Okay? Let's get it. All right. I'm loving this. Let's pull a, a light worker card. And see what what, what 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 they got to say to you, Aries. You know what I'm saying? I'm so proud of you. You know it's good to see <coughs> the divine come out of here, which they always gonna come out of here. But I ain't no hate. I like to smile, you know. And we deserve it. We deserve everything we get because we put in this work. You know what I'm saying? And all I can say is, people that uh, wanna mimic you, or you know. Uh, your shine or you know try to be you copycat you 
you know, all I can say is, bitch, you don't know my life. You don't know what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? To get the blessings that I have. You know what I'm saying? You could walk a day in my shoes. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Here. But you know, you know, girl, what kind of car you gonna get? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? Initiation. Rite of passage. Crossing the threshold. what I say? What? what? Aries put in it work, baby. Aries put in it work and has been initiated. Has walked through the door. Spirit say, Come on, go on and on. Go on and on. Pat yourself on the back, Aries, because you the shit. The shit. And you fine. You know what I'm saying? Mother Sticks fine as hell. Everybody wanna. You know what I'm saying? Let me put my little breast out. You know what I'm saying? See this cleavage make these make these people drool. Step out on these peasants. You hear what I'm saying? You've been initiated, honey. You got the right of passage. That's what I'm talking about. You go, Aries. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Get on away from my own here, water sign. You need to go here. Yeah. Don't damn to fit in. Don't damn yourself to fit in. Don't feel you have to lure yourself to fit in with people. <laughs> they need to um, up their vibe to fit in with you. You know what I'm saying? If you don't fit in with the crowd, then you don't need to be with that crowd. You know what I'm saying? Don't dim your light to fit in, baby. Don't don't dim your light to fit in. Okay, at all, and if anybody wants you to like lower yourself or or anything like that, that's not the person for you. Tell them to skip to dip their ass down the street, and I'll see you next lifetime. I guess I'll see you next lifetime. You know what I'm saying? Because this this is my time to shine. Time already, shine already. You know what I'm saying? You're the king already, it's time already, the shine already, the line already. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, y'all. Y'all need to listen to that Beyonce already. You know what I'm saying? And you'll feel what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Because what my boy Walt say, if you can dream it, you can do it. And this mother sticks, this Aries dreamed it, and they doing it. You know what I'm saying? So don't go back to this water sign or whoever they want you to be with them. I mean, that's just a lot of drama, you know, toxicity, and you know, anybody got time for that? Anybody got time for that? I'm loving this reading. I just love this reading, Aries. This is just so great. I hope I get a good one when I get to my sign like this. <laughs> you know, but you go, Aries. You go. You go. Let's put some feminine energy out here around here. I'm loving this. Yeah, the cycle is over. I'm trying to copy Aries. Trying to steal their essence. You know, get on up out of here. Get on up out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my throne. Where you at? You know what I'm saying? Aries done put in that work. Then went within, went into Herman mode, then was war trodden, then went within, then took care of themselves, gave themselves self love, then made it through. You know, people trying to copycat them and putting sex magic on them and I mean being obsessed with them and they like, man, spirits like, I got you. I got you. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fresh start. Fresh start. Fresh start. There you go. Rainbows in your future, baby. Fresh start. Chow Chu the Q is here to give you a fresh start. Energy of a fresh start. I'm loving it. That's what I'm talking about. You deserve it. You weather the storm. You put in that work. You know. People think it come easy. You know. And then they get the, you know, you get blessed and stuff, and they get to talking about you sold your soul to the devil, you know, or you in the Illuminati. I mean, you know, get on out of here. You know what I'm saying? What Beyonce? I say? Y'all haters kill me with that Illuminati mess. Papa Rossi, check my fry and my cocky fresh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm channeling Beyonce energy here. 
You know what I'm saying? Queen B energy here. You know what I'm saying? And that's Aries fire. It's all about me. I am. I am. I am beautiful. I am capable. I am a king, queen. You know what I'm saying? I am a goddess. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to scoop the card up in the deck. Yeah, I don't want you in the deck with my goddesses, uh, Night of Wilds, because you're leaking. Okay? Okay. Your mojo is here. Giving the energy of release. You released this joker. You released this joker. You released this devil. You did the work. So go on. You have no emotions, no feeling for this particular person. You released all that. So go on, on. You know what I'm saying? Go on, on. You've been released. Go heal yourself, King of Wands. Ill. You know what I'm saying? Go heal yourself. Don't nobody want none of that. Putting sex magic so they can want you. So they can want to be infected by you. What kind of person are you? Ugh. You know? Persistence. You know what I'm saying? You muddled through. You was persistent. Okay? You was persistent. That's why you're going to be blessed. You got knocked down. You kept getting knocked down. But what? You kept getting up. Okay? You know? I know you're down. When are you going to get up? You know what I'm saying? You the you the master getting up. You the master turning that negative energy into something creative. That's why the yellow lights is on and the yellow candles. You know what I'm saying? You turn that into your creativity. You confident. You beautiful. You attractive. You are persistent. You stood in your power. That's why you getting blessed. You put that work in. You put in that work. You can cleanse this person out of your energy. And you're going to keep on cleansing. You done went to the water and you got all intuitive messages. The water is so cleansing. The water has been here since the beginning of before time. It has so many memories, so many mysteries and everything. You know, and you, and you, you haven't been to the water. You done cleansed yourself. What, what would you want to put this negative on fire person? In your life. So go do the work. Go do the work you devil. Try to get those demons out you. And just go away. The universe is not letting you come toward this person. You know what I'm saying. Take that L water signs. Take the L. Yeah. You cleansed. Balanced. And everything with the universe. You know. And you know why. You got a universal connection. You spider woman. I told you, you that bitch. Told that bitch. Aries, look at her. Don't play with me, Aries. You know what I'm saying? It's time already to shine already. The line already. It's time already. King already, you're the king, you know it. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You connected to the universe. Deeply connected. Sorry, water sign. You are blocked. Your chariot is blocked. You're not a swords. You're blocked. Come on. You know? The tower already happened with you. That's why they gave you this disease. Because you've been out there doing something you ain't had no business doing. With somebody you had no business doing it with. And look at it. She got her arm wrapped around. She like, that's my dick. You know what I'm saying? I know that's my dick now because I done gave him the yerps. <laughs> How you think you going to come to my mother of sticks and give her the yerps? What this person done gave you? Look like some young girl too. Shame on you, King of Wands. Shame on you. I hope you learn your lesson. You need to go heal, dude. Because it ain't happening. You ain't finna get it. Anybody finna get the yerps from you? This was a great, great, great reading. I love, love, love this reading. Um, thank you, um, everybody. This is the end of the message. I hope that this was healing for somebody. I hope this brought somebody clarity. Um, and Aries, you got it going on. This is your time. You done been initiated. You know, write a passage crossing the threshold. It's your time. To walk into that abundance. To walk into that million dollar business. 
to walk into that beautiful body, beautiful face, suitors everywhere, to walk into whatever you want, sweetheart, whatever you want, because if you could dream it, you can do it, and you dreamed it, and you doing it, you hear me saying, you know, Yes, 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 Aries. Well, I want to thank you guys for visiting my channel. Um, there will be more Zodiac signs coming out um, in the future in the channel. Just listen for me. Um, and I love you all and I miss you all. And I um, am honored and um, grateful to connect back with you. So remember, this is Zengaya. You're Zen Libran, and this is the power of a woman. We are the symbol of supremacy, and we need to heal ourselves to put ourselves back on the throne. Nobody needs to do it for us, okay? I love you all, and check me out. Um, let's get this channel back going. It was growing, and it's going to keep on growing. It's going to keep on growing. It's going to keep on growing because the universe says so. Okay, and one thing I want to leave you guys with that is so important know thyself, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. I love you, and until next time, this is Zengaya, you're Zen Libran. Bye.